Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Forgecraft Evolved. I'm Max and Evolved, and today uh, we we got to take care of some stuff. So, before we get that started, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. That way, you know every time I put out a new video, you can you know you're just part of the family, and it's great. So let's hop right in. So I've done a little bit in between episodes here. So let's take a quick tour about what's happened. So you may notice. I've got induction chargers, missile turrets. Well, I did that everywhere. Induction place. So every single tower now has six missile turrets, right? So this episode, I kind of said last time, I want to get missiles going. Well, missiles are uh, they're, they're on the way, we'll say, right? So what I've done here, you might notice I have missiles actually in these, right? I, I just kind of put a hopper down here and filled it up with some basic missiles just to kind of test out how the distribution works and it seems to work pretty well so with that being the case I want to go ahead and get a couple of these towers up and running essentially I want to have this auto fit but there's a couple issues that comes with that so let me let me kind of take you on the tour of issues number one you see that we're making empty fuel canisters now normally that's not a big deal in a closed system Eventually, you'll have enough empties to refill all the new fuel that you're making after it gets spent, right? The problem is we are not in an empty or a closed system. So what happens is this fuel that I'm making gets literally consumed, right? So that means we need to constantly make the empty fuel canisters to fill it up with fuel, which in turn gets made into missiles. Oh, by the way, I made this into a room. Uh, I'll kind of show you what's been going on. So everything's pretty much the same, only now all the missiles are being made. Uh, I put this this little hopper here with some extra fuel that I had on me to kind of help the system out. But, you know, we've got 500 missiles just sitting here waiting to export. So we need to get those over to our, our missiles uh, or our missile launchers ASAP. So let's look at what's kind of been going on in between episodes, right? Uh, Couple notable things. Number one, we ran out of coal over here. Uh, not a huge deal. This this coal vein that was kind of right here ran out. We still have a ton of coal in in the storage. And what I also did, you might notice this this little setup right here. I tapped into these coal deposits right here just to kind of make sure that we we still have coal. So that's all running. But you might notice some lasers and stuff coming up. So. What, what I ended up doing in between episodes is I got four major turrets or towers, I should say, set to receive power, right? And they're all kind of running off the same principle. So uh, this one, you know, for example, if we look down here, this one is getting powered by that Mark IV battery on there, but it's also beaming power to this Mark IV battery. This, the only responsibility that that battery has is to power this plate, right? So that was kind of the approach I took for how to determine which, which towers were going to get power, right? So this battery is essentially supplementing the, the line of batteries for the turrets here and, you know, feeding the, the tower across from it. So what I did is I decided to make kind of pairs out of each setup here, right? So across the the horizontal or I guess the straight lines here. So this tower right here is also getting powered down below and beaming it to this one, which is not powered other than, you know, those transmissions right there. Same thing, like that's getting power, beaming it to there. That one's getting power, beaming it to there. So that's kind of, um, that's kind of the setup down there. But some of this stuff had some interesting, uh, tricky placements, right? So, like, I wasn't going to rip all this out just so I can have a straight shot up there. So, we kind of, you know, we just got a little got a little fancy with it, running the lasers. Uh, this one over here, I think, is, yeah, it was pretty straightforward. Uh, this one, <laughs> this turret is actually inside my smelting room. So, when we, when we opened up the hole, it was inside the smelting room, right? So, what we ended up having to do... I put some energy grommets on the wall there. That way this could stay as a room. And we have batteries on the other side of this wall that these Mark III uh, energy transmitters attach to, and they just kind of bounce it over and up into the tower above it. And this glass 
actually serves to keep it as a room. So that worked out nicely. But back to the original problem at hand, we need, I'm not going to do this today, but we do need to think about setting up kind of an auto feed to this, um, this crafter right here. Now, I don't necessarily want to siphon off of the iron deposit that I have right here, this lift right here, because this one is only, this deposit has about, I don't know, 430K left. So we're going to need to find a new iron deposit anyway. I just don't want to kind of, I don't, I don't want to do that right now. So for now, I'm hand feeding when I need to. And it's, it's kind of working out. So that's on the priority list, just not the top priority. What is on the top priority, I want to get those missiles that I have in that room right there. Some, you know, coming up essentially right here. I want to be feeding those missile launchers with missiles. And, uh, you know, there's a couple, a couple ways we can do this, right? So there's the room, there's the logistics grommet right there. So we can, I mean, we can literally just, I don't know, we could even run it up along the top here. We have put a hopper right here. We can essentially mirror the fuel distribution potentially because I want to feed at least four, like the, these four towers, right? I want to make sure they're all getting missiles. And I could do that in kind of like a... Um, I guess like a like the over like an overflow kind of like how I have this right, and if I if the system is all set up with small hoppers, I don't see it being a huge issue. There won't be a huge missile kind of backlog, you know, because we'll have what 10, 20, 30, 30 missiles stored on a platform. Like I would I would get rid of this. In fact, I'll get rid of that right now, and put you know a ten there, right? So there'd be at most thirty missiles. Well, I guess 32 waiting on a platform. 32 times 8 is like like 200 and what, 56, something like that. So, I mean, we can easily make 256 missiles. And I don't necessarily see the... Uh, I don't see all of these missiles getting expended immediately. Because by the time all of them are getting shot at enemies, ideally it's kind of killing all the enemies anyway, right? So... That is an option, and honestly, I think that's probably the option I'm going to go with. Just at least, you know, almost like a proof of concept, short-term type deal. So um, I do, however, there's a couple things I want to do in this, this space out here, right? So I don't know if I'm going to make this the primary. Probably I'm probably going to make this like the first leg of the journey for distribution, which means at some point in this chain right i'm gonna need to get into a room where i have you know like my my armor piercing and my warhead imbuer right because i want the damage that comes with those and i want to use for the the stingers right so um part of that is going to deal with getting power and i might honestly i might just encase this as a room. I think that's okay. I think this could act as a room and just literally steal power right off there. And if there is any doubt that the missiles are working, you see they are launching. And look at that range. That's, you know, technically clear on the other side of the of the base, but boy, they, I mean they're doing work. I don't know how I mean they're launching. I just don't know how uh how effective they are. And, you know, we might get away with using less missiles if we do make them stronger. Well, I mean, these bosses are going down. How many? There was, what, 32 we said in there? Let's see how many they're down to. Oh, yeah. Okay, so maybe, maybe not. Maybe we do need to, maybe we will need to ramp this up. Yeah, these are all completely empty. And we still got bosses coming. So, all right, let's get that missile production started. Okay. So I've ran the basic missiles over to our makeshift temporary room. I I don't know how well it's going to work, but uh, so the, they're right on this side of this grommet. So I have a couple options. I could have them come down and then go back up, or I could figure out a way to maybe maybe power them from the ceiling. 
See, the easy, the thing is, if I have if I have it down here, then I can just throw it down right there, you know. I I, I think just for ease, I'm gonna do it like that. We'll think about how to get it up there, but the power the power transmission is what you know the issue is, right? And then we'll just run this right in. All right, so that should just start imbuing things, right? And I don't think this is really gonna tax this battery all that much. I don't think the power draw up there is really taxing on these batteries, so that's pretty cool. I, I am worried about how quick this is gonna be, though. Hmm, actually, now that I'm thinking about that, well, oh, I could do something kind of gross, I guess. Um, no, no, you know, I'll keep it at one for, for now. Unless I split this off and, like, kind of do it somewhere over there. It, the power situation, I want to just make this kind of happen, but this is definitely slow. This will be okay. This will, we're just going to make this work for right now. Okay, so now I want to get, let, let me run up there real quick. Because I want to see where this is going to come up. So we do have some obstacles right now when it comes to these lasers. But if I come over here, I might be able to replace that block, right? We'll put that there because then maybe I'll do something like this, right? That's visible from the outside. That's not as visible, right? There's some room in here, right? So I can do something like this. Draw, oh, draw this stuff out and have it come up. And then from here, you just go in, left, right. Okay, so that's that. And then we just run it up from where we are which is, let's see, so that's right there. This, so if I do something like that, and we'll just kind of, you know, get everything positioned where it needs to be. Oh, those imbued missiles look sweet. Oh, I just wish this went faster. There, I know there's a way that I can do this. Oh, you know what? I think I just figured it out. I'm going to do something like this, right? I'm going to put another imbuer like right here with another hopper that's remove only. And another hopper that's add only. And then I'll just like literally split them like that. And just kind of run this around the other side. And just have it hook right up into the same. Just like that. Boom. Okay. So now at least I have two sets going at the same time. Okay. So then let me make sure that I have these belts going up. Over. Up. Okay. Okay. So we got to go fix it on the top side and we've got our missiles coming up right here. Now there's going to be kind of like an ugly little transition, but there's not really much I can do just because of the way they kind of came up. But as of now, if we run out, we should see missiles start to get up here and auto fill. All right. So these might even start shooting if we got, oh, we do got stuff big enough. Whoa. Whoa. That is sweet. That is so sick. Do you hear the sound on those things? Listen to that. You hear that? Oh man, that is awesome. And they look like they're doing damage too. You see the range? That thing is shot way out there. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited about this. Okay, but this is not where we where the story ends, right? We need to get this. We need to get this going over here too. So what I think I'm going to do is I think what I'm going to do is something like this. I This should get enough power, I would imagine. Oh, well, it's empty right now. Okay, not a, not a huge deal. Um, oh, this is going to look a little iffy because I'm going to have to place some glass and stuff, right? But we're doing it for the cause, you know what I mean? Um, okay, and then we're going to want... A hopper right here, right? Because it's got to hit. It's got to. If I could, if I put the hopper, if I could put the matter mover right there, then I could beam it straight in line with where the two paths would cross. But I got belts in the way and stuff. So we're just going to do it like this. Not a huge deal. As long as missiles get fed, right? 
that's all we care about here. As long as the missiles have a home and they're doing their job, then we're happy. All right, so there's that. If I ever get enough missiles up here fast enough. See, the problem is we're getting attacked so much. Yeah, I just don't think this is outputting fast enough. So this takes 15 seconds, right? So I'm getting two missiles every 15 seconds, or what is that? Like eight missiles a minute? That is just not gonna work. I guess one way that I could do more is if I intercept the missiles. So like this right now, right? It would, this would have another output, right? It'd have something like this. Where this this one would end up going back up and over to like this this set of turrets right or, or missile turrets right here right, so I could put another set of imbuers here, so that essentially I'm getting what eight times four, so what is that thirty two missiles per minute? You know what? Let me see if I can figure out a way to kind of send this over to that turret as well and make like a, a like a little tiny small room around it. All right, and just like that, we've got, at least we got excess missiles moving out, right? So I kind of threw a second wall in there and what they're doing is they're kind of, they're running across the ceiling here. And I, I just did something real simple here where I have one remove only hopper in between two imbuers. And then they both output, but this one's output wraps around and hits up this one, right? So this will be what I what I kind of use to go up, right? So let's see. So it's going roughly there, right? So if we do something like that. And then I guess I'm just going to put a hole right there. I don't really have any rhyme or reason. I don't 100% even know where that goes out, but we'll go up there and we'll take a look. All right, so this is where this one comes up. Now, if we go up top, this one is going to share with that one right there. So if we can kind of not make the mistake, right? So if we put the hoppers down where they where I want them, we do something like that, right? So if we can not fill in this portion right here, you know, can I take that away? No, that's like a, a cosmetic block pretty much. Okay. Um, well, maybe I can come up over here instead. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. So then what I can do is actually, you know what? I don't even know why I'm hitting the hopper in there. I feel like that's kind of a waste. See, I'm, I'm like refining this design as we go along. So, all right. So it already comes up here. Like I see it right there. Like, boom, there's some missiles. So I can't see. Here's the thing, right? I can't. Can I cross right here? I think I think I can make something work. Let's take a look at this again. So it's coming up here. We got it right there. I can go. Oh, you know what? I could go into this wall. Maybe I have room, you know, in here. This is all hollow, but. How does that help me? Let's think. They're coming up and I can't, I don't really want to damage the outside there. But over here, what did I get rid of? How did I come up over here, right? I just came up right behind those things. But is there a way I could have traversed down? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'll just copy the pattern because it works, right? It works for what we're trying to do. So actually, you know what? I can just do this. We can still salvage this. Maybe I'll fix this with the other one too. We go up over here and in, and then we can matter move like so. Plop that one open, plop that one open, throw some glass down as missiles screech by my face. Look at that, look at that go. Dude, our missiles are just flying out. This is, honestly though, this is kind of making me worried that we're gonna completely exhaust our missile supply in no time flat. Oh, we got a missile. Look at that. Look at that. Is Do we have missiles over here yet? Have you gotten missiles? 
Have you matter moved anything? Zero things have been matter moved. It looks like we're getting attacked way too quickly for any kind of stockpile to build up. So that either means... Well, I mean, actually, I don't know. It looks like they're staying out pretty far. I mean, that's a lot of destruction. So our production might be enough. I just don't know if it's going to ever stack up, which would mean that we need to make more missiles. Well, the factory's pumping along. It looks like... What is taking so long over here? Does oh, these just take a while? Man... Part of me, right? So part of me is thinking this would be so much better suited over by the fuel creation because then we get the fuel faster and all we need is the gold, right? Gold and what is this? Copper? Gold and copper. Copper is already, I could, I could mine copper just like I have a whole mine just dedicated to this and it'd just be moving gold. So that might... I'm kind of brainstorming out loud with you guys here, but it we might turn this into this factory kind of maybe feeding this turret, right? And then place another, uh, a separate room somewhere over here maybe, right? Because right here I have fuel. Right over here, I think it's right here. I think there's like a copper mine like or copper node like somewhere over here. Yeah, there's a copper node right here. How much is in this? Oh, it's only 64K. But I know there's copper just like on the ground over here, right? I can find a copper node dedicated to copper pipe production for missiles. And then, uh, I mean, we could really get, just get kind of crazy with it if we wanted to. I think you can do, right? I think like, how's this thing? Like this is already almost empty, you know? I think you can do, right, with a turntable. Do I have any turntables on my... The biggest issue I find is how am I going to split onto my lines, right? So if I look at a turntable, right? If you have a belt going into a turntable like this, then at best, right, you're only going to get three directions of split, right? But if you do something like this... Then you could have four directions of split. So I could conceivably feed in my fuel, feed everything in, get four roughly equal lines going, which I could then, you know, double up like I have down there and just have, I don't know, eight imbuers going at one time. Because one, if I build one turbine and dedicate it to that, that turbine would easily power eight and viewers, right? That thing, the turbine gives you 18. Oh, wait, turbine is 1800 or 18,000. I think it's 1800. All right, so maybe the turbine wouldn't power eight and viewers on its own. Wait, let me, now, now, I'm, now I gotta check. Yeah, I think it's, I don't, I don't have any turbines going full power, but I think it's 1800. So I could get, three-ish imbuers, right? So like this is 3,600 power right here between like capability between these two turbines. This one's, you know, only one at a time. And I, I'm, only, I'm only running two imbuers off of one or off of two turbines. So I'm only taking a thousand power. Same thing here. I'm only taking a thousand power per second. So I could get three imbuers per, three imbuers per, turbine so six imbuers for two turbines i don't know that could be a pretty good little setup if we did it right so there's definitely um this is kind of like a proof of concept just to see how the missiles how the feeding is going to go how this situation is going to work and uh already i mean i see we don't have the production but we are getting the missiles out and you know what we've been having bosses come and we're not dying so Things should be starting like, yeah, like this is already, this is starting to fill up over here. Like, like let's take a look, right? We've got this one full. This one's not full, but once the missiles come up, right, it's going to fill up and then it's going to start feeding out that way. 
And essentially, once these two hoppers are filled, then it's going to start filling that up. I could even, hypothetically, we could even go with smaller hoppers than that, like a one, or even logistics hoppers that just have two, and really, like, not have a lot of missiles backed up, because that's what I don't want. I don't want a whole bunch created, so I'm not... I'm not a huge fan of the line that we have down there. But anyways, guys, I think I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching me go on this little missile journey. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Let me know. Hit the thumbs up button. Let me know that, hey, this video is good to go. I like it. Uh, any comments on my missiles, let me know down below. Throw them in the comment section. Let me know how I can do this better. Like I said, I'm, I haven't really ever used missiles before, so... I'm learning, and if you've never used missiles before, then we're learning together. So on that note, guys, uh, thank you so much for sticking around, and we'll see you in the next one.